What's up, y'all? This is Wax. How you guys doing? Um, this video is not easy for me to make. Unfortunately, I, I put up a new video the other day, a video called No Smoking in the House. It was a rap kind of, just a rap video, me rapping in the studio, and uh, just bars, as people would say. And uh, yesterday, or today rather, YouTube took down the video, and I'm looking at the message they gave me right now. It says that this video has been removed as a violation of YouTube's policy policy against spam, scams, and commercially deceptive content. And I found out that the reason that this video, help, I don't know, the reason this video was pulled is because the tags that I left on the video were commercially deceptive. And for you guys that have watched, been watching my videos for a long time, you know I make like stupid tags on the video. But on this one, this, these are the tags I've made. Wax, no smoking in the house, hip-hop, rap, living foul, freestyle bars, battle, wingsuit jumping, astronaut school, giraffe food, sorbet recipes, parkour lessons, enormous spiked anal dildos, Slayer's concert tickets, Crest toothpaste, dunk tank rental, foreskin reconstruction, pastry chef versus mountain lion slap boxing, Taco Bell, World War II reenactment fetish, Disney movies, cockfighting trophies, picket fence repair, Segway racing. Um, those are the tags I put on the video, and I guess it's commercially deceptive. You know, They had to remove the video from YouTube because of those tags. So what I want to do in this video is I want to officially apologize. And I want to go through this list and apologize one by one. I'm going to leave out the beginning because, you know, wax, no smoking in the house, hip-hop, rap. That's kind of what I do, but it gets to the part where it says wingsuit jumping. To all the people out there that clicked on this video by accident because they were looking for wingsuit jumping videos, I apologize. Next, astronaut school. That's a First of all, that's a pretty high... It's a, you're, you're shooting for the stars. You're jumping above the highest hurdles and trying to really get into an elite class of people such as Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, other astronauts. Now, you're really trying to get into an elite class right now by going to astronaut school in the first place. And the last thing you would want is for something to impede your progress as an astronaut. And when you, this week, clicked on my video thinking that you were getting some type of tutorial about how to apply to astronaut school, what you should do, what, you, what to expect when you attend astronaut school. I apologize. I'm very sorry. All you got was six minutes of bars. And the bars I'm talking about are not moon rocks that are shaped like some type of gold bar that you would find at Fort Knox. I'm not talking about bullion. I'm talking about rap bars, which is something you're not interested in. You're more interested in space exploration. So I apologize for that. Let's move on. Giraffe food. I don't know what I don't know what it was that prompted me to use this as a tag in my YouTube video. It had nothing to do with the things that giraffes put inside their bodies. So to all you people out there that own giraffes, care for giraffes, work at zoos where many giraffes live. To anybody with any knowledge whatsoever of what giraffes eat, because I'm not really sure. I did go to the zoo recently, and I guess they eat some type of plant. That's why their necks are so long. Their necks aren't so long so they can dig down in the ground like an ostrich in an attempt to search for insects of some sort. I don't even know what ostriches eat. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about giraffe food, so why would I post it on my video as a tag? I apologize to you for that. Let's move on. Sorbet recipes. I don't even really know what sorbet is made out of, and I bet a lot of you don't either. So if you were looking up sorbet recipes on the internet, on YouTube, and you came across somebody rapping in their studio for six minutes, you would probably be concerned as well and say, well, this doesn't really, there's no list that says something like hazelnut, almond, soy milk, and ice mixed together in a blender. It's not no list like that. It's just a guy rapping. How would you 
learn how to make sorbet based on this video? I wouldn't know. I don't think a lot of people would because it's not a sorbet recipe video. And I misled you to thinking that it was. So for all you people out there that were searching for sorbet recipes on the internet and came across my video, I apologize. Uh, parkour lessons. I know parkour is a popular thing on YouTube and on the internet in general. But, it, you know, is that really something you need to be taught? Is that something that you need some type of Mr. Miyagi to teach you? Just watch it on YouTube, which was probably what you were trying to do. And unfortunately for you, parkour was not what you got. You got my video. You gave me a view. And you probably gave me .00015 cents when you clicked on it due to the little skip, skip ad pre-roll thing that ran before. Uh, what you saw, which was not parkour lessons, clearly. Unless parkour consists of standing in your studio and rapping, uh, the No Smoking in the House video that I uploaded had nothing to do with parkour lessons. So to you, I apologize. Let's move on. Enormous spiked anal dildos. I assume that's one tag consisting of four words. Could just be enormous and then spiked anal dildos. It could be enormous spiked as if it was a large punch bowl at an auditorium at a 1950s high school prom. You know, it just could be enormous and spiked. Um, and then it could be anal dildos by itself. What if it was enormous spiked anal and then just dildos? I don't know, but I'm going to say it was enormous spiked anal dildos. Uh, if you were looking for those and you found me rapping, you'd probably want to stick one of those dildos in my ass because it would hurt so bad considering it was spiked. So I apologize to you for that. Next tag, Slayer concert tickets. Um, hey, you know, if you were looking for Slayer concert tickets and you came across my video, hopefully you liked it. I like Slayer. I like concerts. I like tickets that aren't parking tickets, tickets for Slayer concerts. Love them. Um, I apologize to you for that. Uh, I know some of you might still have an old school mentality of like there's metal and then there's rap and those two worlds don't combine. But maybe you should listen to more Limp Biscuit or something. Is that even, some of you are hating me for saying right, that right now. But uh, next tag, um, I apologize. Next tag, Crest Toothpaste. Now, although the video was called No Smoking in the House, and if you don't smoke, you're inevitably going to have less stains, less plaque and tartar, tar, you ever, tar, 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 tartar is tar twice, so that's, that's what tartar is. If you ever wondered what the definition of tartar was, outside of a sauce that's delicious with fried seafood, um... Tartar on your teeth is just tar and tar twice. That's They're trying to reinforce it. It's like tar squared. So if you were looking for that information and you stumbled upon my video, I apologize for that. Next uh, tag was dunk tank rental. Um, a dunk tank for you kids that are on your iPod. See, see, the iPod, really? Even that was a dated reference, and that's relatively new. I'm talking about dunk tanks. I'm talking about when I was in elementary school. And we had a field day. I don't mean a field day in the way that people, oh, he had a field day with that. I mean, we actually had a field day where we do track and field events as elementary school kids. And one of the teachers would inevitably get in a dunk tank. A dunk tank is a thing that looks like, it looks like a prison cell without a ceiling. But it also has a little robotic arm with a, with a darts bullseye connected to it. And if you throw a baseball hard enough at that darts bullseye, the person in sitting, sitting inside of that prison cell without a ceiling, who's sitting on a plank that's kind of like a diving board, except the diving board is spring-loaded and the spring is either up or but they're going to fall in the water. So if you're looking for that, I apologize. Uh, I don't know why I explained what it was, but because if, if you were looking for it, you would have already known. But you can't rent a dunk tank by viewing my video. That's one thing that's... For sure. Um, next tag is foreskin reconstruction. If you were looking to have your foreskin reconstructed, I apologize with all the things that reside in the depths, the bottom of my heart, 
I apologize to you. You know, circumcision is something that you can't really take back. You get it when you're, you, you know, most people, we're not even old enough to really think about our lives yet. We're getting baptized, we're getting circumcised. God, everything with the eyes. Good thing we're not getting sodomized. Hey, I don't know. I'm just going off the cuff here. But, um, you know, if you get your foreskin removed, it's hard to get it back. Like, are you going to go look in the 20-some years ago hospital trash can and try to find that, that calamari? You know what I mean? Are you going to do that? I don't think so. So it's, gonna be, it's, it's a tough thing to do. And if you were trying to do that, you clearly couldn't have found your old foreskin or a new foreskin. It's, I said reconstruction. So it's not, it's not, it's not a fucking, uh, it's not a wild goose chase. It's not a treasury hunt. What was the word I'm looking for? You're not looking for buried treasure. You're probably looking for something new. If you want to do that, maybe it's like hair transplant surgeries where they take some of this hair, put it up here. Maybe just take some skin from, maybe you just save your dead finger skin, your cuticles and whatnot. You can eventually sew it together and make a foreskin. I don't know. Good thing you did come to this video because you're getting a lot of knowledge. Next tag is pastry chef versus mountain lion slap boxing. If, hey, man, if you came to my video looking for that, send me a link. You know, I'm trying to find that too. Send me a link to that. Beatsforwax at gmail.com. I'm trying to find out where I can learn about uh, that topic or even hopefully see a pastry chef and a mountain lion slap box. That would be nice. Uh, Taco Bell. If you were looking for Taco Bell on YouTube, I don't apologize to you. How hard is it really to find a Taco Bell? Do you really have to surf the World Wide Web to discover the location of you know the nearest place where you can get a crunch wrap? Uh, I don't think you should. I think you should be a little bit more creative. And speaking of creative, there's no more pe there's no more creative person than anybody who works at the product development department at Taco Bell. Like for the last 20 years, they've taken the same six ingredients and made literally like four trillion new menu items. Like how many tortilla, beef, cheese, lettuce, tomato combinations are you gonna make? You know, it's it's pretty crazy. So. You know, think outside the bun, but think inside the box. That's what they do. All right, so next we got World War II reenactment fetish. Um, I think the reason I said this is because everybody does Civil War reenactments, but nobody really does World War II reenactments. If you were looking for that, you're on some new shit, and you might have enjoyed that video. So I don't, I don't apologize to you. Thank me. Um, Disney movies. This is actually somewhat sincere. If you were looking for Disney movies and you found my rap video, it was probably a really, a really different experience than you wanted. Granted, there's many different types of people that would be looking for Disney movies. Most of them children. Most. Keyword being most. Keyword not being all. Some people looking for Disney movies are looking for the wrong things. To you, I don't apologize to the people that were really looking to watch Aladdin. I'm sorry about that. You got something drastically different. All right. Well, there's a couple more tags. Cockfighting trophies. What would that look like? Picket fence repair. I mean, isn't the American dream having a, white, having a home with a white picket fence? If that fence got destroyed, you'd probably want to know to repair it, where to repair it. And I'll tell you one thing. If you would have searched for that and found my video, you wouldn't have found that place. You wouldn't have found Tim's fence repair. You wouldn't have found uh, DuPont white painters. That sounds really racist, but you wouldn't have found it. Uh, and the last one being Segway racing. If you're racing on a Segway, I apologize to you, and I apologize to your family. And essentially, I, I apologize for everybody that looked for this video, that looked for something else and found my video. So... Sorry.